Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. Once a week, I pick some topic of interest in C++ and dig into it some live coding. In this episode, I'm going to cover the new fall-through attribute that has been added in C++ 17. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally have not yet taken a liking to any of the attribute things that have been added in C++ 11, 14, 17, etc. Um, but some of these now that are coming in C++ 17 are starting to look kind of interesting. So what we have here is a version of Clang. Uh, this works with Clang 3.9, just so you know. I'm using a more recent build of it, but you can test this on uh, the Compiler Explorer with Clang 3.9. And I've got set to C++ 1Z setting, and I have dash W everything turned on, and I've disabled one uh, warning that is um, a little bit unnecessary in my mind. So the dash W everything, I do actually recommend. I do actually I recommend. I code with that I code whenever with that I can. Whenever I can. And it really forces and it you really to forces be very, you clean, to be about very clean about your code. So let's take this simple so example. Let's take this so we have a very simple switch statement that, depending on the value of argc, can call one of two functions. And we're going to stub in our functions, do something, and do something else. So now we're getting a warning from the compiler saying we have done an unannotated fall through between switch labels. So generally, this would probably be a bug, and what you would actually want to do is put a break statement in here. And that's because, just in case you are unfamiliar, in this case, if the value of argc passed in is 1, then it would execute do something, then it would automatically fall through, and then execute do something else. By putting a break here, you tell the compiler you only want to execute do something, and then you want to exit from the switch statement. But if we in did intentionally want to call do something, then do something else, then we use one of the new attributes added called fall through. And that tells the compiler that we intended to let this fall through from case 1 to case 2. Now we have these, um, one of the problems with turning on dash w everything is the compiler gets quite pedantic with us. So we have to start turning off things like no C++ 98 compat, which clearly if we're compiling in C++ 17 mode, we don't really care about C++ 98 compatibility. So this could, uh, this could really help save a lot of unintended bugs with switch statements and address some of the concerns that people have with switch statements. But there's something else that I wanted to point out. That is, one of the powerful features of switch statements, where if you say you want case 1 and case 2 to do the same thing, then in this particular use, the compiler does not warn you because there is nothing going on in case 1. So it only gives you that warning if you put something in case one, then it tells you you need to put a fall through or a break statement. But if you're, if you're obviously intending for two switch cases to do the same thing, then you do not get a warning. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.